Hi, I'm Jenny Kedward, a recycling educator for Dakota County, back again to talk to you about recycling. Uh, as a push to make recycling easier, Dakota County and me, we're doing these uh, Facebook Live events to uh, really come to you with answers to all of your burning recycling questions. Uh, in April, we did one of these Facebook Live events and we had so many questions that we couldn't answer them all in 25 minutes. So today, we're back to answer all of those questions and more. Please type in your questions uh, through, uh, for the Facebook Live event. You can type them live or go to the Facebook event page uh, under Dakota County. Um, we'll get to past questions. Oh, I encourage you to check back that video from the April event to learn all about where your recycling goes, how China has affected uh, our markets, and more. So check that out. We'll, send a, we'll put a link on our Facebook page too. Okay, so one thing before we get to questions is I want you to, to again, repeat after me what can, you can recycle. The main things are bottles, cans, and paper. So bottles, anything with like a neck like this, bottles, cans, and paper. We love that. There, it's much easier to stick with bottles, cans, and paper, and honestly, don't worry about a lot of the rest because it gets really complicated, but bottles, cans, and paper, that will make it easier. When I say paper, I mean cardboard boxes as well, and other boxes. Um, so, recycle those. Rinse your bottles and containers out to make sure there's no food residue or liquids. Uh, no more putting your, putting your recycling in a plastic bag to put in your recycling cart. No more of that. Throw it in loose. We want it loose. And when in doubt, throw it out. If you have any questions and I'm not there doing a Facebook Live event to answer your questions, that's okay. I'd rather go in the trash than uh, put bad things in your recycling. And also you can check out our Dakota County Green Guide. It is an online directory full of hundreds of items of what to do with them, including how to donate certain items, recycle, or uh, what to do with them to throw them away. All right, questions from the last time. How do I recycle batteries? Oh, this is a perfect topic because you might have seen the Fox 9 News uh, segment earlier this week, actually yesterday, I think, and they talked about how batteries, especially lithium ion batteries, are causing huge havoc across the recycling and trash world. So batteries, just like this, should never be thrown in your trash or recycling carts. Um, well, rechargeable batteries especially. Lithium ion batteries are causing fires everywhere. In fact, uh, at our one of our partners, Demcon Recycling out of Shakopee, uh, there's a fire at one of their facilities almost every month. That's insane. So no batteries in your recycling cart. Drop all batteries off at the recycling zone all year for free. Uh, and then also rechargeable batteries you can take to many other locations like Home Depot, Best Buy, some targets. Uh, so look at our green guide for more information or just bring them all to the recycling zone. No more batteries in your recycling cart. What kind of paper can we recycle? Oh, that's a great question. We're still throwing out 285,000 tons of paper every year in Minnesota. And it's one of the easiest things to recycle. So the basics are, of course, uh, newspaper, magazines, cardboard, any of these boxes. Uh, we love paper. The things, the paper that you shouldn't recycle is just as important. So we have paper cups. Now the sleeve, you could definitely recycle this cardboard, it's great. But any paper cups right now, we cannot recycle these. Um, that might change, but right now, no. Any, if you love your Chinese takeout, don't recycle these uh, little takeout containers. Also, with that, paper plates, paper cups, anything paper that you were eating off of, generally not recyclable. And then also, uh, paper tissues. So tissues, um, besides being pro probably dirty, uh, they're just not worth a lot, and we don't want them in our recycling. Um, they might gum up the system. So put you can compost them or put them in your trash. And one thing we've been seeing with shipping increases lately is any, any packaging that's a shipping envelope that's paper on the outside and bubble wrap on the inside, that's trash. Uh, there are bu uh, bubble wrap shipping envelopes that are plastic on the outside and plastic on the inside. You can recycle those with your plastic bags at grocery stores. But if it's mixed paper and uh, bubble wrap, just throw it away or reuse it. Um, and then shredded paper. We talked about this last time and how shredded paper just causes a lot of problems at recycling facilities. So you can, if you love shredding because it's your own therapy to get rid of all of those papers, okay. Um, you can use confidential material drop-off events happening all year round or bring your shredded paper 
in a paper bag to the recycling zone in Egan. And again, whoop, my sign, the recycling zone in Egan, shredded paper. Okay, how can I dispose of electronics? Electronics are everywhere now, not just our TVs and our, our uh, computers. We also have game systems, cell phones, everything that you could plug in counts as an electronic. You can bring all of that to the recycling zone. Again, recycling zone in Egan. Everything is free except TVs and monitors. TVs and monitors are a mere $10 each to recycle uh, and everything else is free. You can also go to many other locations uh, around the, the county and the metro to get rid of other electronics, um, you can check out the Green Guide for all of those locations. Okay, another question we got, uh, do I need to remove the spiral ring to my notebooks? So removing any non-paper stuff from our paper, like tape or plastic, staples, uh, spirals, um, they're, that's great, but unnecessary. So uh, you'll, if you do any of that, if you remove non-paper items, you'll make a friend at the paper mill. They'll love you for that, but uh, you don't have to do it. What happens is all of our paper goes into a giant water bath uh, that makes a big, disgusting smoothie of paper. And uh, what happens to all those non-paper parts is they either float to the top or sink to the bottom. And we can skim off or suck out those non-paper parts. So of course, they're not gonna get recycled, um, the, the tape or staples or anything, but at least uh, all of our paper is still uh, getting recycled that way. Can I recycle food boxes if they have food stains? Now, I don't exactly know what this question was referring to. I think it might be pizza boxes. Um, so pizza boxes, if they're clean, so not a ton of grease on the bottom, and a, a ton meaning, you know, 50% uh, of it or more is greasy on the bottom, or, or if there's any cheese, um, then go ahead and toss it. Uh, or you can cut off the top of your pizza box, recycle the top, and toss the bottom. Uh, but if it's clean um, and not very greasy, then you can put that in your recycling bin. Okay, we just got a question in. Styrofoam with the recycling logo on it, uh, are they allowed in the recycling bin? Oh, styrofoam. So let me see, I have, a, I have a prop here for you. That's why I don't like to use numbers a lot with recycling because a lot of things have numbers on them and they're not recyclable. So for instance, the styrofoam cup has a number six and the recycling symbol on it. You might think if you didn't, if you didn't know that, oh, anything with a recycling symbol could be recycled. Not true. So uh, foam cups are not recyclable. They go in your trash. Anything foam, cups, plates, packing peanuts, all of that cannot be recycled in Dakota County or really in the metro. Um, it's uh, that number only means what the, uh, the type of plastic that the product is made out of. It doesn't mean that it can be recycled. Thanks, Ray, for uh, asking that question. I got another question in. Unused napkins or paper towels. So even if they're you know clean, you didn't use the paper towel or napkin, um, they still could not be thrown in the recycling bin. So you can compost them, tissues, uh, paper towels, but they don't go in your recycling. Thanks for asking that. All right, uh, the plastic bag, my water softener salt comes in. Uh, can I take that with other re uh, plastic bags? Yes, in fact, there is. Um, you can recycle all of these types of plastic film or wrap at the grocery store or Target, Best Buy, anywhere that takes bags. So you can uh, do produce bags, that those plastic envelopes I was talking about, bread bags, dry cleaner bags, any wrap that comes from your toilet paper, paper towel rolls, newspaper sleeves. The biggest thing people are shocked about are bubble wrap and those air pillows that we get in packaging. All of this can be dropped off in uh, with your plastic bags at the grocery store. And to find a whole list of where those are take, uh, where you can take those, you can go to the Green Guide to find a whole list. What about aluminum and tin foil? We got this uh, with several comments. So uh, I don't have a, a prop with me today to talk about it, but uh, re I, I always call uh, aluminum foil kind of the tissue paper of metal. It's not worth a lot, and usually it's in small amounts, and uh, it's dirty. So most haulers will take it if it's free. Uh, if your hauler, or free, if most haulers will take it if it's clean, 
Um, but if uh, they do take it, if your hauler does take aluminum foil, make sure you ball it up, it's clean, and you ball it up and it has to be the size of your fist or larger. You can drop off aluminum foils and aluminum foil and trays at the recycling zone also. Uh, so if you're in doubt that your hauler might or might not take it, you can bring it to the recycling zone. Um, honestly, it's uh, probably not, it's not worth a lot. Uh, and if you throw little bits in the recycling, it could mess up the system or just not get recycled. Um, all right, next one. Oh, same, same uh, line of questions. Can I recycle the tin foil that comes on my yogurt lid? So uh, yes, if you had a big ball of them. And if you're not willing to make a huge ball of your, your lids, just throw it away. It's, it's probably uh, not worth the effort to recycle and transport all your lids to get recycled uh, with the amount of material that we get back from it. Do I need to remove my plastic tape from cardboard? All right, we see this a lot, right? With the like Amazon effect, we get a lot of uh, boxes in now. Um, and again, anytime you can take off uh, your plastic, any non-paper stuff from your paper is great. You'll make a friend at the paper mill, but they can also deal with it. So if it's easy to take off that, that plastic tape and throw that away, great. If, uh, if you don't have time, um, it's fine, you can leave it on. The biggest thing is actually breaking down your boxes. So break down those boxes um, if, if you have, uh, to help the recycling industry out. Okay, do you have to peel off labels from cans and other containers? It used to be maybe 20 plus years ago when I was growing up, you had to take off all labels from everything. Luckily, the industry, the recycling industry has figured out how to recycle with these labels on. So it's okay. One last step, you can leave all of your labels on your containers, any containers. All right, we got another question in. We put our recycling in a plastic garbage bag. Will the contents still be recycled or should I have dumped it out and uh, put it in a paper bag instead? Yes, if you put, if you collect your recycling in any kind of plastic bag like this, garbage bag, um, target bag, anything like that, uh, there's a chance that it probably wasn't recycled. What happens, uh, your recycling goes to a recycling sorting facility like this and uh, there's people on the line here that are all they do all day is pick off items that might not that might hurt the system like gum, uh, gum up the system so what there there might be a few people on this line that their whole job the whole day is to just grab plastic bags and get them off including plastic bags that have stuff in them especially uh, black bags um, these workers don't know what's in that, blast, that black bag, and the line's moving so fast that they're programmed just to grab and toss, grab and toss. And if they grabbed and opened, what if that bag was full of horrible, tr uh, just trash? Now they, they, ha they made more work for themselves. So they're, if it's a full bag of plastic, they probably will just take it and throw it in the trash. So yes, if you want your recycling to be recycled, guaranteed, throw it in loose. If you need to bag it uh, you or to contain it, if that's just easier for you in your home, then paper bags. Use a paper bag, that's okay. But I, one of the sweetest sounds to my ears is throwing uh, my, my container of recycling into my cart and just hearing all of those bottles go in. So that can, hopefully that can be your uh, uh, good sound too. How about produce containers or produce clamshells, like what blueberries come in? Yes, so we call them clamshells. You use the right word there because they act like a little clam. Yep, they are recyclable. So as long as they're clean and empty, so don't throw your, you have half moldy blueberries in here, don't throw that in, but empty it. If it's clean and dry, throw it in your recycling. Can you recycle shampoo bottles, lotion bottles, and cleaners? Yes, here's an example of a shampoo bottle. We love those. It's a little harder to get the, them clean if they have you know, lotion in there, but do the best you can. Rinse it out. Um, you can leave caps and lids on, like here's my detergent jug, caps on. The only thing that you'd want to take off are spray pumps and uh, pumps like on lotion. Those go in the trash. They're made up of a bunch of different parts and it's just hard to, to recycle those right now. Okay, what to do with empty containers that held hazardous waste? We often get this question at the recycling zone because people will bring in their oil um, or they'll bring in empty uh, bottles that held motor oil and we throw them away. So you can do the same thing at home. Uh, if you change your own oil or if you're painting, 
uh, or you just have a, an empty bleach bottle or something like that, uh, that plastic, it, it might have been recyclable if it didn't have uh, hazardous waste in it, but once it does, it's hard to get that really clean. And we'd rather to keep, we don't want to contaminate all of our good recycling if that hazardous waste gets out of that bottle. So just throw those away, the empty containers. Can tissue boxes be recycled? Yes, here's my very worn out tissue box here. Tissue boxes are great to recycle. If you can, you can remove the plastic around the top. You don't have to, but it's, again, if you wanna be extra, extra recycler, uh, but you can throw them all away. I like to break boxes down, even if they're smaller, because it's easier on the recycling facility and it, it gives me more room in my recycling cart. Okay, what about toilet paper tubes? Oh, I thought I had one up here. Let me see, here we go. Toilet paper tubes and egg cartons actually are the uh, beautiful end story of paper recycling. So these, uh, this paper is on the end of its life really. It's so small that uh, the fibers are so small that when it goes into that big water bath at the paper mill, uh, half the fibers are long enough to go off with other fibers and get made into new paper. And half of the fibers from things like this uh, are so short that they will just wash away with the water. So it's not bad. You can certainly throw egg carton, paper egg cartons and paper uh, tubes in your recycling. They're just not worth a lot and uh, half of it might not get recycled. It's definitely not a contaminant. It's not like batteries or plastic bags. So you're not gonna do any harm by throwing these in your recycling. You can also compost them. Uh, drop them off at one of our organics recycling sites, that's fine too. Um, or you can even, I've heard of a lot of people taking their paper egg cartons to farmers markets or um, places that, uh, food shelves um, to reuse. Okay, that's the end of my questions. Uh, I think we have another one coming in, so please get in your questions. Plastic utensils, yes. I hear this a lot of, well, it's made out of plastic, so uh, can't I recycle it? Not necessarily. Plastic utensils uh, do go in the trash. Don't recycle your plastic utensils. They're made up of a bunch of different kinds of plastics. They're hard to um, sort out at a recycling facility. So right now there's no way to recycle them. And no one wants to buy plastic uh, recycling or plastic made from utensils. Uh, that goes in, I forgot I had, a, I do have a few more questions. What about light bulbs? So light bulbs, uh, take all of them to the recycling zone in Egan. We take all light bulbs, not just compact fluorescent light bulbs. Uh, CFLs, fluorescent light bulbs, do have a little bit of mercury in them, so you definitely don't want to put them in your recycling or trash. Bring them to a drop-off location. We list a bunch of drop-offs on our green guide, like Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, L at the recycling zone, we also take long tubes of fluorescent bulbs, LED bulbs, which aren't hazardous, but we can recycle them. Old incandescent bulbs, you know, the old, uh, old ones that we've grown up with, uh, are safe to put in your trash. There's nothing hazardous about them, but we do accept them at the recycling zone because we can, our vendor actually can recycle the glass and metal from them. Are plastic bags recyclable? I'm glad someone asked this because plastic bags are the number one headache at recycling sorting facilities. What happens is, uh, when all of our stuff is getting sorted by machines and people, the, mach the plastic bags wrap around machines and they actually, workers have to stop the whole process to cut out all plastic bags uh, once or twice a day, stop the whole process. That's a loss of time and money and is dangerous for a worker too. So no plastic bags in your recycling cart. You can certainly drop them off at grocery stores, uh, at um, uh, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, they all take them. They do, it's kind of fun, they do get made into certain products. Uh, all of, all of your, our plastic film or wrap is made into durable lumber, uh, decking, um, uh, benches, playground sets, so it is getting recycled and it, it is valuable, but only if it's dropped off and it's clean. Any update on milk cartons? So we have, uh, this is called like a milk carton, this is a, or a carton, uh, it's layers of plastic uh, paper and another layer of plastic. And there was one of our recycling facilities in the metro that was going to stop taking them, um, but that is no longer the case. So all recycling facilities in the metro are still taking cartons. 
you can leave, make sure they're empty, and you can leave your cap on. Uh, oh, how clean do yogurt containers need to be uh, uh, to be recycled? So this is actually a, a bust on uh, Dakota County staff because I found this in our recycling. So this is a good example that even we need to be educated here in our internal recycling or internal staff. So here is a clean yogurt container that we love. Like that was a quick rinse, didn't take more than you know 30 seconds. Here's what I found that cannot be recycled. So it's pretty gross and dirty. Even though it's all dried, we don't want any of this food in our recycling carts. Um, it's great, it's a little better that it's dried, but this food, liquid or dry, when it gets on the paper, it can actually uh, cause problems. It can make the paper less valuable. So we don't want that. And it makes this plastic less valuable too. So if it's dirty, if you are just not going to rinse it out, I'd rather it go in the trash. But it's great if you can rinse it and put it in your recycling. Oh, someone mentioned last time about the TerraCycle bins. So TerraCycle is a national company that recycles hard to recycle items like uh, to toothpaste tubes or um, uh, those uh, drink pouches that you give your kids that have applesauce or juice in them. They work with companies, brands across the uh, nation to try to capture those hard to recycle materials, either through a mail back program where you can mail it back to TerraCycle or through drop-offs. For instance, they have a national partnership with Subaru, and the closest one to us is in Bloomington. And Subaru has three bins where you can drop off your uh, coffee containers like K-cups, um, uh, wrappers, candy and chip wrappers, and these paper uh, to-go cups, like coffee cups. You can recycle them there for free at any Subaru. They also work with uh, uh, other markets like Chuck and Don's actually uh, takes, the pet, th the pet store takes uh, wellness brand bags that uh, they then send them back to TerraCycle and the wellness brand pays for that shipping. So check out TerraCycle.com, I believe, uh, and they uh, th there's lots of other um, uh, ways you can recycle hard to recycle items. And we'll send it, we'll put a link in the Facebook event page uh, for TerraCycle as well. Okay, I think another question's coming in, but please keep them coming. Okay, next question, if I can get it. If we leave caps on bottles, cartons, et cetera, won't mold start growing? Well, that's why we wanna rinse out everything. So yes, if this was like somewhat full of milk, yeah, mold would start growing. But if you were rinsing everything out, uh, then that prevents mold from growing. That's why it, uh, rinsing is so important. Um, and you do wanna leave caps on because any loose caps on our bottles or uh, containers, if you put any loose caps in your recycling, they will not be recycled, it'll be thrown away. But if they're on the bottle, um, both the cap and the bottle can be recycled uh, down the road at a different recycling uh, process. If you wanna know more about that, you can check out our uh, uh, April event and we go through uh, that in more detail. Another thing to mention is one of these is not recyclable. They're both water bottles, but maybe you can guess why. One has water still in it. Uh, this makes it really hard to recycle because how bottles are processed at a recycling facility is actually through lasers and puffs of air. It's fascinating. So a laser beam will shoot down and a millisecond later, a puff of air will poof this bottle into a container, a different bin. Everything else that didn't get poofed will go on to a different uh, conveyor belt. So if this has water or juice or soda in it, uh, that puff of air won't work. Also, if somehow it gets punctured um, or crushed and, and that liquid comes out, water is okay, but if it's soda or anything else, it would contaminate all of our other paper products too. So this, if you're not gonna uh, uh, pour out all of your liquids, I'd rather this go in the trash. Next question. Are toothpaste containers recyclable? The box is, if you brought it in a box, but any tubes like that are trash unless you use a program like TerraCycle where you mail back toothpaste tubes. But toothpaste tubes go in the trash, for sure. Looking, I think that's all of my examples, uh, but please ask more questions. We've got a few more minutes. If not, then we will wrap up. Um, you can definitely go to the Green Guide for much more information, and we'll be continuing to do these uh, Facebook Live events as well. We have one more question coming in. It'll be our last question. Yes. 
we're on edge. All right, it's coming in. Rinsed cat food cans. Yes, most definitely. Cat food cans, uh, your, your, um, your cat or your, um, your dog, if you have wet food, any of those cans are perfectly recyclable. Just get that food out of there. The label can stay on and you can toss that uh, into your recycling. Yes, definitely. Thanks for asking. Okay, we'll see you hopefully in a few months. We'll do another one of these. So you can always answer, uh, ask questions later in the event and we'll try to get to those um, as we can. Thank you all for tuning in to our part two of Can I Recycle That?